Stand still, you people! Get together! Stand to attention, stand at ease. Shoulders back, stomach in. We are now going to push forward onto the battlefield. You've been issued your clothing, you've been issued your weapons, and you've been given your training. Stand by! This isn't a real army recruitment session, and I'm not about to be drafted into the forces. This is a computer battlefield game brought to life. Step off together, quick march. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. The experience is the brainchild of Lee Belcher and John Skelton. After 25 years in the army, they left at the end of last year to set up their own company. Stop by, go! Right, let's go, guys. Let's go, let's go, go. quickly, quickly, come on, let's go. The business is called Tactics Planning and Training. Uh, it's jointly owned by myself and my business partner, John Skelton. Right, guys, they go back to their respawn box. Quickly move forward, move forward. Uh, we both were in the forces. We left recently and we thought, let's start up a business computer wargaming so you look like the computer soldier. Push it forward now, it's good, move it, move it. What we do is use all the strategy, all the techniques that we use in the army, that we used in the army, but we also put all the realist uniforms together so you feel like you're part of the game as you're playing it. Over 19,000 people left the armed forces last year and many of them went on to become self-employed. Of course, playing this game isn't quite the same as being on the battlefield in Iraq or Afghanistan, but the skills that Lee and John learnt in the army can be applied directly to their new life, setting up a business of their own. Me and John work well together, uh, but getting things done uh, is the other thing. Uh, we, we, we focused on an idea uh, and we just wanted it to work straight away. Uh, the rest of it, the obvious stuff, the, the strategy, the teamwork and so on, we put that into our gameplay so the actual gamer has a realistic um, day. One of the biggest challenges lots of people are facing when they're starting to set up their own business is funding. The banks, for many people, simply aren't lending. How did you go about getting the pot of money to set up the business initially? Well, you're quite lucky in the army. If you do your full 22-year service, you do get quite a good pension at the end of it. So uh, bearing this in mind, what we did is we managed to get loans through the banks, uh, which was quite easy for us to do, funnily enough. Uh, and then obviously when we left the army, got our pension, we were then paying it off with uh, part of our pension. Of course, not everyone gets funding from the bank, so the Royal British Legion has set up a scheme to help people that want to start their own company. Be The Boss is a £5 million project that's been funded by the UK Department of Business Innovation and Skills. Um, and delivered by the Royal British Legion and what we do is help ex-service personnel become self-employed through three main things really. The first is business startup training, the second is mixed funding of grants and loans and the final one is mentoring. Unemployment is at a 17 year high. Have you noticed that more people are coming to you wanting to have funds to start up their own business because they're worried about getting a job? Yeah, we have seen, um, I'd say, a significant increase in the number of people that have entered the scheme. Um, at the one year mark of Be The Boss, we had about a thousand people that had entered the scheme. We're at 18 months now and we've got 2,000 people. So, you know, it really is picking up and I can see in, in the coming months we'll, we'll be seeing more people approaching us. Delta move. Back in Norfolk, the players are launching a final assault to win. But for Lee and John, the game of creating their own business has only just begun.